guys so time to show off a build this will be going up tonight so uh, chances are you've seen it on my page um, this was the Kraken um, dial option number two from last week um, where I did like an interest post because I was out of uh, a lot of watches I was out of uh, movements to be specific and uh, literally got 12 came in um, I guess it would be yesterday now um, so I was able to build a bunch but I went ahead and built that Kraken one since there's a lot of interest in that and I also built the Spartan one which I'll get to here uh, in the next video but that said um, the pictures of the watch that you've seen all have this little keeper in it and as I was trying to like put it in the box for the last picture and then take it apart to go on the watch I noticed that maybe he made this a little too tight now it fits but when you have the watch on your wrist and you're trying to feed the other there is just it's pretty tight not that it doesn't fit it's just pretty tight so I went through my bundle of extras because sometimes I got some that were a little too tight from people and I go hey you need to send me another one I actually found one um, that has a nicer darker tinge to it but it also kind of goes along with that color but I'm going to include this as well but with this it fits through just fine so they'll have both of them there available to you and then you know that like see how easy that slides so <clears throat> that one will be on there but you can always pop off the uh, spring bars here and swap in to this one if you want because this is actually a color match to that this is just a super dark gray so but it also goes with it so entirely up to you but I thought that person might have some frustration and I should try to fix it if I can um, so distressed Kraken dial now under the glass you can't quite see it as much but you can see all through in the silver parts and I actually put a little bit of sanding on it to see if I could like knock down some of it but I can't because that was all done with Dremel so I was like oh that's what he did it would take a lot of sanding to knock that down but I wanted to kind of just have a tinge of distressing but there was actually quite a bit and it's often all around the edge and then you get it into around the flat parts on the Kraken. The Kraken is recessed and lasered out so it's on the surface area. So once I realized what he did I was like okay let's do something to match up with that. So I took a brush case and a brush case typically looks like this. It's just milled going around and then you always have some interesting weird milling that goes through in here and weird markings and stuff but you don't see that with the bezel it's just the outside areas that we really see so that's my typical typical case that I try to use that one has a little bit of a mark in it that I'm going to have to brush out um, so that's good good fun um, so this is how they typically come and since that dial was like that I use some uh, stainless steel ager and distressor and kept putting it on then dipping it in water and then buffing it by hand so you've got this nice like I don't want to say it's blued but you kind of get that feel of blued um, you know torched steel so I just went through and would blue it and then wipe it down and then blew it and wipe it down and blew it and wipe it down so until I came to this cool distressed look put on a black shark tooth bezel on it and then we also when we lasered the dial lasered the Kraken bezel insert and then I also had a lasered Kraken um, clasp that also looked very distressed so I thought that would be perfect for it and it was actually it lined up well sometimes when I screw these on the way the threads go versus the way this threads um, unless I've marked them before I've sent them off to the engraver 
he's just engraving them for me and then I screw them on and see what alignment we've got and that actually aligned perfect uh, which typically doesn't happen because he could laser it any direction he'd want and if it didn't line up just like that it would you know if it lines up straight up and down that's kind of cool too you know when it's here and you can see it straight up and down that's kind of cool too so I just have to kind of go through that stuff and, and make sure that you know something aligns well so the one that was perfect for it in looks was also perfect for it in fitting um, had one left black Cerakoted milled uh, cracking case back so put that on there just a standard steel uh, tension ring on here uh, or case back ring <clears throat> and then inside you've got a signed rotor and I did a black um, movement holder you'll never see it but there's a black movement holder in there and then this is on one of my buddy uh, over HC straps is leathers um, it's a nice gray leather and I thought that looked awesome with it has a little distressing pattern going through it and then as you saw in the beginning I swapped this out but I will include that in there and then I had a distressed black preview buckle so <clears throat> so that is the build um, <clears throat> bezel on it will turn left if you try hard enough and right I was actually able to get that on there to where um, it's not going to move unless you really want it to. And if you really want it to, you're going to have to dig your finger in there like I did. Okay? <clears throat> so it's not going to move on you. <clears throat> Man. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it. You can wear it. You can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it back towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you're not going to be very active at all, make sure you wind it for 10, 15 seconds to max out your 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. Um, when you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click, and you'll also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just a design feature. And you'll also notice you do not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And I didn't go over the hands, but you got some silver Moldova hands and a long loom seconds hand, and I thought they went in there pretty awesome together. They all kind of flow really well together. So, so you notice the wobble crown there, kind of moving a little bit. Okay, Google, what time is it? 12.04 p.m. 12 p.m. You're good. You're going to push it over, get it out of that time setting. And then wind it down. And then how I know that I've got it wound down, right, is this guy's pretty much pointing straight down when I'm done. And that's about as tight as I can get it. <clears throat> that is the build as with every build you're going to get matching beads sometimes with this case um, I do those lug extensions and it's for two reasons sometimes these straps are tight where there's not a lot of play like see how this one will move this one will move but see how it's sticking straight out there a little bit I'll put them on there so that this will completely fall. Now, if somebody's using a, uh, you know, putting them in a watch uh, roll, this is the side that you need to move. Um, and this will still move right around your wrist just fine. Um, but if this isn't long enough for you, let me know. I'll have to take some out and I will have to um, age them and kind of buff them and kind of get them in this kind of scenario. So if you do need lug extensions, let me know. It will add a little bit of length to you, but then they will pivot right off of the case, and then they will be just crammed into the other end. So they'll pivot at the case on quick disconnects, but they will uh, 
uh, add some length, add some flexibility to you. So if you need those, let me know and I can work on making them. Um, come in a gray Kraken Special Edition box. This will come with Watch Foamer. This is good for everything here in the center. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. Will also come with leather conditioner to keep the strap perfectly soft, um, which is what you might use if you can figure out a way to stretch that a little bit. Put that on there and then, I don't know. Yeah, maybe you put it on something real tight that, and just keep pushing it down and keep pushing it down, you know. Like uh, something that, you know, how people do ring sizing. Yeah, I don't know how much that would stretch that leather. Um, but, I don't know. If I was taking that approach, that's the first thing I would think. But, uh, hard to say. Um, put on the front and back. Use a rag. Use some, you know, a washcloth. Something like that. Don't use one of your microfibers. Um, this will keep that strap perfectly soft. Uh, if you ever need it. And then lastly, you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. Uh, it's like poly watch. It's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it. But if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out. Um, if the scratch is up and down, go left and right. Fill in that scratch. Haze it. Buff it. And it should be gone. If it's not, wait. Let it solidify a little bit and go back and do another layer and fill that up. You're basically rebuilding the acrylic plastic. So that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. Um, appreciate you a ton. I hope you like it. I thought this was one of the more unique ones that I've got to do uh, just because of the way the dial was presented. So, And this is only the second time I've done any of that on a case. So I'll do it here and there, but you don't always know what you're going to get. You don't know if some of it's darker, some of it's lighter. So I just got to sit there and keep working it, working it. And then sometimes... You just have to know when to stop. So I felt like I know when to stop on that one, and I felt good about it. So uh, it's not black, but it's not gray, but it's not silver. So I think it goes awesome with it. Um, once again, thank you so much for your support. And if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks.